night like this, you came into the world. I remember that storm. All the dogs in King's Landing howled through the night. The war is not over. The true enemy won't wait out the storm. He brings the storm. A storm is coming that you can't escape. Tears are falling like blood and rain. These are. 24. September 2022 wird uns allen als ein Tag im Gedächtnis bleiben, von dem wir später einmal sagen werden, ich weiß noch genau, wo ich war. It's changing out there. Just like last time. There's a storm coming, Ari. We'd all best be ready when she does. outside and it was worse how was it worse there was a storm your time has come storm's coming okay so how did you feel when you saw the storm i felt frozen Heart racing, frozen, like frozen, cold, frozen, frozen to the touch. No, like how you feel when you're scared and and you can't breathe or talk. A storm is coming. Our storm. Dickard, Sepper, you, me, our lives mean nothing next to a storm that's coming. Storm's coming. Storm's coming. A storm is coming. A storm coming. There's a storm coming! I could do anything. You'd I felt... I felt this evil, like like it was looking at me. It was evil. You'd well, 
What do you think the evil wanted? There's a ship to kill. There's a storm coming. There is a storm coming. A black and terrible storm. Storm's coming. Storm coming, Mr. Wayne. There's a storm coming. There's a storm coming. Storm's coming. Alice says there's a storm coming. There's a storm coming, Dr. Suresh. There's a storm coming, brother. There's a storm coming, Frank. There's a storm coming, kids. There's a storm coming. There's a storm coming. There's a storm coming. The storm is coming. Storm's coming. Storm's coming. There's a storm coming, buddy. There's a storm coming. A storm is coming, Frank says. A storm that will swallow the children. Storm coming soon. Like nothing you have ever seen! And not a one of you is prepared for it! And when it arrives, it will shake the universe. Because when it hits, you're all going to wonder how you ever thought you could live so large and leave so little for the rest of us. I study storms all my life. And this one is bigger than any storm that has ever been. I know. President Trump is going on offense now. He's He put out a couple of posts yesterday, I think, essentially warning the FBI and agents that it's time to get on the right side of history because the storm is coming. And I think that I think that prosecution is coming. And I think President Trump is giving them all warnings. Look, you have a, you don't have a whole lot of time left. Uh, I think he's make, sending some clear warnings to them that the storm is coming. Tell us, sir. Uh, maybe it's the calm before the storm. What's the storm? Could be the calm. The calm before the storm. What storm is We have the world's great military people in this room. I will tell you that. And uh, we're going to have a great evening. Thank you all for coming. Thank you. What storm, Mr. President? You'll find out. What storm, Mr. President? You'll find out. Realization once again, the fragility of this planet, the coming uh, catastrophic event, and we all have to clean this act up now. The coming uh, catastrophic event, and we all have to clean this act up now. Jesus. He's due any minute now. He's due any minute now. He's due in a minute now. Jesus' suffering on the cross is a picture difficult to understand. He was betrayed by a friend, arrested and falsely sentenced to death. He was beaten and whipped, a crown made of thorns pressed into his head. Bearing the cross, he stumbled and staggered up the hill to Golgotha. Each step of the journey getting worse, spit on, cursed, and mocked. But Jesus never looked back. He kept going. Jesus could have avoided the cross, called down fire from heaven, 
or summon legions of angels to rescue him, to save him. But Jesus was not interested in saving himself. He was all about saving you. Every detail of this torturous path to the cross was part of God's plan to bring you to him. We're all broken. We've all messed up and have all made wrong choices. And no one had to teach us as a baby about anger and selfishness. We just came out that way, sort of a sin covering. But on the cross, with his blood he shed, the Bible says Jesus blotted out our record of sin, nailing it to his cross. The blood of Jesus washes away our sin covering. And his blood is our ticket. Our ticket to enter through a new door, a forever relationship door with God. So what do we do with this great news? The Bible says, if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. You see, it's not enough to believe in Jesus with just your head. You must believe with your heart. Now, there's just one person alone at the foot of the cross. It is you. What will you say to Jesus? Say, thank you, Jesus, for shedding your blood for me. I'm giving you my heart today, Jesus. I do believe you died for me and that you were raised from the dead for me. Please give me a new heart and a new life right now. God hears you and he is answering your prayer. The love of God is being poured out within our hearts through the Holy Spirit. Thank you.